Hey guys, how are you? I'm back with another video. So as you might have noticed, I haven't made one in the last four weeks because I've been traveling to the States and I've been at shows. So um, it's kind of hard to be doing these in like the hotel room and stuff. But I'm back. I'll be getting back into making these videos um, every weekend if possible because um, I know you guys enjoy them and you learn from them too. So uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to be doing two shows in one um, in this video. I'll kind of go through it quick. Um, the first show was Texas that happened last weekend, and the sorry Texas happened on Friday, and the Tahoe show which happened on Sunday. So it was two shows in the same weekend, so we're going to cover them both. Um, so Ashley won the first one, and then came second um, on Sunday. <coughs> so let's fix this here. All right, so this is Ashley at the Texas show. This is a very very good Ashley. The one thing I I don't know what's going on um, is with like her. Her mitts, it's this like little pouch here. I don't know if it's muscle uh, protruding or it's fat or, um, you know, if it's just like her abdominal wall or what is, but it's like, it's getting a little bit more noticeable um, show after show. I don't know if it's, it's a digestion issue, but it's kind of like throws off her front bows a little bit. Um, and I think that's what actually hurt her um, against Aaron in Toho um, <clears throat> for the feedback that I heard uh, for Ashley. So, Either way, this is a very, very good Ashley. Um, I mean, our front pose is good as far as muscularity and conditioning. I would put this hand lower. I don't know why it's this high. Um, again, her feet are a bit too close. But, I mean, those basic things, like just like her overall um, fullness and conditioning and uh, proportion is excellent here. So her back shot is even crazier here, which is – I don't know why it's doing this. So our back shot here is unbelievable. This is like perfect bikini conditioning. Uh, she's very tight, very full, four D glutes. Um, it's pretty obvious why she won this show. It wasn't extremely high caliber, um, but I mean, this was like one of the best Ashley's I've seen for sure. So second place here, uh, Rejuana. This girl has such an insane shape too. Um, she just needs a bit more muscle. She's a little bit small, but her structure is absolutely insane. It's one of my favorite physiques of the year so far for sure. Um, she just needs a little bit more muscle, and she'll be able to, uh, you know, be a top 10 Olympian soon for sure. <clears throat> so she came second at this show. Um, I noticed that her glutes and her legs were a little bit flat. I'm going to show you. I actually liked her her look better um, at the Chicago show where she came sixth place. Her glutes were a lot fuller. Um, let me show you here. You can see it's a, it's a big difference. And, you know, sometimes it just depends on the lineup where you place and stuff like that too. But you can see, like, the difference. Uh, maybe she was a little bit tighter here in Texas. But her glutes, like the pop, like popping um, in uh, Chicago, I mean, it's all, it's all, Jesus Christ. Her glutes are visibly a lot fuller um, and more 4D here in Chicago where she came in sixth versus second place here. And I personally prefer this look more, uh, but the show was a little bit harder. So um, it is what it is. I, she might have been a little bit um, <clears throat> not lean enough in this show but if she could find a balance between like this conditioning and this fullness it would be crazy like i mean this is crazy beautiful uh structure of the glutes here perfect really nice back pose like really good x frame here this is like a like, crazy genetic girl um that can be doing very very well she's already been doing very well i believe she's qualified olympia or she will be soon but yeah she's doing really good uh this girl carla i mean I don't personally know how much better she can possibly be at her height. She's obviously maxed out um, in muscle mass. She can't get bigger because she's very short. So, I mean, um, there's not much she can do, to be honest, if you placing higher, which is unfortunate. Um, they say that tattoos don't, you know, hurt your placing. But, I mean, I don't see any top 10 Olympians with tattoos. Um, I don't think there's ever been um, in bikini. Um, if they have been, they've been very small. And, like, she obviously... The judges aren't going to say, like, tattoos, you know, she lost the tattoo. But, I mean, if there's a girl that looks exactly like you or, you know, similar and you have to choose one, I mean, I tend, I've i heard judges say that, you know, the ta they don't like tattoos. So, I mean, this is a personal preference. Um, as far as your conditioning and structure and fullness and, you know, everything, it's pretty much perfect. I, I don't see what else she can possibly do. Even her posing here is really good. Um, she displays a really good X frame here, even the back pose too. I mean, it's unfortunate. There's not, there's, she can't really grow anymore either. Her glutes are like big enough. Her shoulders are big enough. Her legs are big enough. So it's kind of just kind of have to show up and like hope for um, a better show. You know, when you're a shorter athlete, there's only like so big you can get because then you kind of look like a little tank. So you don't want that to happen to you. So I mean, she's she's definitely maxed out here on muscle. So 
Um, she only maybe work on little things like presentation and stuff like that too. But she's been nailing it every single show on uh, back to back to back. So as far as her conditioning and fullness and everything. So, I mean, I'm curious to we'll see what the judges say on feedback because I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, sometimes it's just, you know, she can't really get taller. So, I mean, it's not not much that she can really improve on. So, it is what it is. So, uh, Francesca has been doing really good this year too. This front pose looks really good on her. She always, like, brings kind of, like, her waist to the front, like the Issa. This is a very, like, similar to Issa, Issa's pose. Um, it looks really good on her. Last year, she used to flare her lats, and now she's not, so... A lot more proportional up the bottom. Um, I know she's a little bit inconsistent with her conditioning and her back pose. She has such thin skin and like her, she gets so lean in her hamstrings easily. So if she if she's like borderline too lean, like this is too lean here, um, and there's like kind of like etched out, then you know she's not gonna place as well as if she's a little bit less lean. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I mean, she's a little, obviously a little bit too lean here, which comes in a little bit less lean. I think they kind of like. Uh, bump her up a little bit but if she's like borderline like too lean here like you can see like almost striations in the hamstring so and like this is like too much like etch glutes like let's here let me show you what i'm talking about so all these pictures were taken from nbc news online obviously i'm going to compare to isa just to show you what the conditioning is here So you're going to see a big difference in conditioning here <clears throat> with her. So Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. I don't know why my fucking picture's over there. Now it's back over here. Okay. Let's try this again. Sorry, I don't have the picture um, set up. I don't know why the fuck it's changing every time. Okay, I think it's just following me around. So anyways, let's just go back to this. Fuck, get my ugly face out of there. Perfect, good. So you can see the difference here between like the conditioning. Um, if you're comparing her to Issa here. Okay, this is fucking shit. This is not my lucky day, guys. Anyways, I'll do a little bit smaller. You can see the conditioning here. Like, there's a little bit of um, hamstring tie in here. It's not too, like, etched in versus here. Like, it's very, very visible, very dark, um, and very, like, separated. So, I'm that's probably the feedback was her, her hamstrings were too lean. Um, her shape is great. I would think I would like to see more of her waist, though, in the back pose. It kind of, like, she kind of, like, maybe she's pushing back too much. It makes her torso look very, very small compared to her legs, so. Um, I think it would look a little bit better if she maybe arches a little bit less. And if she arches a little bit less, she's actually going to have a little bit less um, conditioning in her hamstrings. It would actually help her out, I think, more. So, <clears throat> Ivana here. Ivana looks really, really good. She's another short athlete. She can't build any more muscle. Um, I've seen her compete in person. Super great. You know, beautiful girl. Nice shape. Um, I think she was a little bit softer in the, in the legs here on this show compared to the Tahoe show. Like, a couple of days later, I'll show you the difference. But once again, this is another athlete that can't do much to improve. Um, I noticed here, though, and in the Tahoe show, I'll show you guys that um, she needs to fix her back pose because there's no X-frame here whatsoever. She's kind of like um, closing in like her, her scapula. Um, and it's, she's all you see is her legs. There's no X-frame whatsoever in the back pose. Uh, let's try to compare. Your, you can see the difference here. Like, here you see Red Juana's like you see her delt caps, you see her arms, you see like a perfect X frame. Here it kind of just her arms are down. You don't see really any delt cap at all, especially on um, you know on the right side here. It's kind of just flat versus Red Juana. You see like a big fucking delt flare, which is nice. It looks good. Um, and you see like kind of no like there's no waist, there's no shoulder, there's no X frame here. And here's it. You can see a big disparity, you know, between the two. Um, just regarding, I think if she just changed the pose a little bit and kind of like maybe uh, put her hands up a little higher and flared her arms a little bit, it would look a lot better, to be honest, because there's no X-frame here in the back pose. I don't know why this is all opening with paint. It's very annoying. So um, I believe that is, yeah, that's top five for that show. So let's go to Texas. Or let's go to Tahoe, sorry. So this show is crazy because um, Ashley got beat by um, Aaron, which is... Um, and Masters Bikini Athlete, which is ex who is extremely impressive. 
Um, I think she's like in her forties and she like won the figure Olympia twice a long time ago. And now she's like coming back and doing bikini and like killing it. It's unbelievable. So, um, yeah, so this is Erin. She's like in her forties. She looks unbelievable. Um, the one thing she need, her, her structure is crazy. The one thing she needs to fix though, um, right away is her foot being profiled like this. Her quad is so bulky and she kind of like, there's no kind of like real glute here. If she like turned her foot, like they kind of like an Issa pose or kind of like the pose that basically everyone's doing right now. Um, here, let me send it. So here, whatever, we're just looking at the legs anyways. So if she um, put her foot more, facing towards the judge to the profile she would hide this huge bulky quad here and show more of like a glute definition i think that would help her a lot 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 um <clears throat> that is basically because you can see like it's all you see is when you look at this pose is like the big bulky quad and you don't want to see that you want to see symmetrical you want to see like kind of a low glute pop and you want to see um she's very 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 full here like look at her arms and her shoulders like she is jacked up like so they did a really good job in her conditioning and her fullness, and this athlete is extremely impressive. Okay. I guess my camera doesn't work anymore. This is a fail video. <laughs> okay. So um, this is Aaron's back pose. Um, <clears throat> you know, super high, tight glutes, perfect conditioning here. Um, I really like how she's, um, you know, keeping her upper body, chest up really high, um, shoulders, or sorry, elbows flared out a little bit, and she really has a perfect, perfect X-frame here. And Ashley came in second here. I mean, what happened was they had Ashley in first um, place by one point, I believe, in the prejudging, and then at the night show, um, they had her in second place by, like, three points, I think. So... It's very rare that they rejudge bikini um, at the night show unless it's extremely close or like at the Olympia. I've I've personally like I've maybe seen like once or twice where they rejudge a bikini show at nighttime. So this is not like a common thing that happens, but it happened here. I guess they well there, there was a one point difference in prejudging. I guess they wanted to see like what happened in a night show, and you know three judges changed their mind um, the night show and actually voted for Aaron, which is crazy, you know. But it happened, and uh, no, I guess it's cool to see. So. I mean, you can give this front pose to either of them, um, but if you had to pick one, like, what are you looking at, right? So, their arms and their shoulders, almost identical. There's not much of a disparity here. Um, let's look at the legs. The legs are very, very similar, too. This can go to either of them. I mean, there's not really... You can't really justify really one or the other. They both are very similar. I mean, Ashley's legs are a little bit fuller, but in the quad here, but not really. So the one thing that's kind of like different here is um, Ashley's like shoulder kind of like in the back is kind of like in an awkward position versus Erin's um, upper body is a lot, a lot higher. And you see like her full uh, clap call and her back shoulder here. And obviously the waist, the waist here is half the size um, of Ashley's. And once again, I mentioned that, like, Ashley, um, I talked to Adam, actually, Adam's coach, and I asked him, like, what's happening with Ashley's lower body, lower stomach? And he said it's just, like, the angle of the picture, so maybe it's that. But um, it's kind of the same thing of what happened to Angelica at the Olympia here, where there's, like, kind of, like, a little pouch here happening in the lower abs. And I, I don't know what that's from because I've never had an athlete that actually had that before. So I don't, I don't know if it's a digestive problem or it's, like, um, their abdominal wall is too strong or what's going on. But I... I, I don't know. So that, that definitely needs to be fixed because you can see like the difference in the waist here. Like Ashley's waist here is two times the size of Aaron's waist. Um, not even exaggerating. So, and you can see like the shoulders and the arms are the same. Um, the legs are very similar. So from pose, it has to go to Aaron. Um, I believe you can make an argument for Ashley either way, but uh, I mean, I would give the front pose to Aaron. I, I think so. So just based off looking at this picture and trying to, they're both really, really good, but just trying to like find the only fault. And I mean, the only fault I can see is like the back shoulder, back shoulders kind of hidden, and uh, the waist here. So Aaron's waist is ridiculously small. Uh, so this is the back pose. Um, I mean, personally, if I had to give it to one of them, I would give it to Ashley because the glutes are so 4D and like 
round and perfect conditioning. But Aaron's back pose is so good too. So it's like if the judges thought that their back poses were um, interchangeable and Aaron wins from the front, then Aaron's going to win because it's like she has the one pose over Ashley. But I'll show you a couple of different things of what I saw as well that maybe had um, Aaron winning the show too, which which is impossible to see if you're not at the show. One thing I don't like is Ashley half her hair is in the front pose. She needs to be more consistent of what she, she doesn't know what she's doing with her hair um, half the time. And she needs to really control her hair. So let me show you. So here, like, half her hair is, like, in the front. And then, uh, let me see. And then here, she's kind of, like, covering all her shoulders with her hair. So it's, like, there needs to be consistency. And she needs to she needs to have, like, control of what's happening with her hair. Like, here, Erin, she does have a little strand of hair here. But if you're, like, let's say you see these two pictures side by side. You see Erin's full shoulders coming down. You see the perfect X-frame. Here, Ashley's kind of, like, leaning on one leg. This might have been in a little transition. But you see, like, just kind of no, like, you don't see the shoulders. You don't see, like, like if you compare these two, just, just as they are, this pose is going to win because you see the full shoulders and you see the full physique. Here, you kind of just, like, see the legs. Um, actually, I'm gonna, that's not really a fair picture because I think she was in a transition. Let me just find her. Freaking, Jesus Christ. I want to be as fair as possible here in objective, so I don't want to, you know, do one where she's in the transition. I know I'm fast. I know I'm fast, guys. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, so here she's on the transition. Um. Here, I'll pick another one just in case. Yeah, so she is leaning a little bit on her left leg here, um, as you can see, and her hair is covering all of her shoulders. So she doesn't, she doesn't have awareness of what's happening with her hair, and I think that's gonna hurt her. So if you're like, but her shape is so ridiculously good, like her glutes, like I, I don't know how you can possibly get better glutes on um, than this fullness conditioning. Like this is a hundred and ten percent like flawless. Like there's nothing you can say that that can make this better. Except for, like, you see, like, the lopsidedness of, like, the hair and upper body. Like, if she just fixes these small little things with this shape, this is, like, a top two, top three, like, top year at the Olympia. Like, for sure. Like, if she just fixes these little things and fixes that little front pose pouch thing. So, um, yeah, really impressive Ashley there, but she needs to fix the little things. Also, another thing, too, like, I noticed I was – so I go through looking all the pictures to make sure, like, because I wasn't at the show, so I can't see if I was at the show, like – if it was that the show I'd be able to, you know, make a better analysis, but all I have here is a picture. So, you, you this is so this is the night show where they're comparing the two girls, um, you know, the front and their back pose and see which one's gonna win. And here they ask to walk to the back. Here, Erin's chest is up, you know, um, her glutes are out, and here Ashley, her chest is down. You can see like her traps leaning forward, her head's down, and she's not pushing her glutes out. You see like her full waist here. So, if the judges are comparing one point difference here. And they're, they're making you walk to the back to see if your butt's jiggling or see how you move and stuff like that, too. And Aaron wins this walk to the back pose, guys. And it's, like, like very clearly because you see, like, Ashley's chest is down and she doesn't look – her posture isn't good. So you need to, like, not only work on your front and back pose, but you need to work on your transitions and stuff like that, too. And especially at these high-level shows where, you're like, um, there's Olympians and you're, like, trying to win, like, a crazy show and there's other good athletes. And it's one point – like, I've had – Girls win pro shows by one point, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Thank God your transition was good because that's what won you the show. And it's like these little things, these little factors can't be ignored or you're going to be in this position where you lose to someone um, that you shouldn't be losing to. So, yeah. But either way, Ashley could have won that show and no one would have said anything, so it went either way. But I'm just, I'm just trying to point out maybe reasons why the judges could have justified that win, um, and I see why they could have justified that win. So... So let's look. Third place, Ivana. Um, once again, I, ju I just did her review on the last thing, but I mean, this is this is not her. This is so good, but she's doing the same thing with her. She needs to fix her upper body here on this back pose. It's brutal. Like, look at the extreme difference. She's like kind of squeezing her shoulders or something. I don't know what she's doing. So it's like all you see is glutes. There's no X frame here at all. It looks like a full rectangle. As Hannah would say, it looks like SpongeBob. So full rectangle here and Aaron full X-frame. You can see the difference, and this kills her back pose, even though her glutes are so great. This girl, uh, fourth place, um, really good. I don't like her. I don't. I don't think that her front pose is that great because she just needs like she's very tall, looks like, so she needs a lot more muscularity to fill out. But her back pose is freaking nuts. Like, um, she just needs. She's thin. She's kind of thin. So if she actually built like more muscle. 
Sorry, my headset shut off. So if she actually built more muscle going through her hamstrings and her glutes and her upper body, like this is a really crazy shape here. So this is like comparing them both in the back. This is the third, uh, this is Ivana and this is the other girl. This girl's glutes are so freaking high and tight and round. It's like, it's insane. So, but she's a little bit thin through the legs and a little bit th thin through the arms and she's a lot taller than the Ivana. So she's definitely built more muscle and this girl is like really, really, really crazy shape. You can see here too, like, I mean, this is obviously a lot more aesthetic here in the front pose than this because her elbows kind of like her shoulders are kind of pointy and her arms are kind of small. And it's kind of like, it's like a waspy shape. Like it's not like a full bikini shape. So she needs to build more muscle and, you know, she'd have a crazy, crazy shape here. Because her waist isn't super small too. So I think she needs to work on her vacuums more, maybe not train any abs. She, she has like pretty dense abs. You can see here, like Ivana's kind of like sucking in and it gives her a flat waistline versus here. It's kind of like a little bit blocky because her abs are very, very thick. So um, I would definitely shrink her abdominal muscles and work on filling out her upper and lower body in the front and back pose, and she would be really good. Uh, this girl, oh yeah, Brianna came fifth place. Uh, this girl is such a beautiful shape, such a nice person too. Um, I just think she's a little bit too big now. I think that's what she wrote in her um, her feedback too uh, that the judges gave her, and it's pretty obvious. Like her quads are just a little bit too big, and her glutes are a little bit too big. <laughs> it's funny. It's like they're not as big as all of these glutes, but it like, kind of reminds me of the same shape, like her very big upper and outer glutes. So. Um, I think she just needs to downsize more. The conditioning and fullness here is pretty perfect. Maybe a little bit leaner in it in the tie-ins, but I mean that's about it. But um, and also she needs to fix this um, this arm here. They don't want like a teapot arm. They call it so it's like where your arm is like kind of like out like a teapot. You want your arm to be down um, and straight and relaxed. And you can see the difference here with Erin. Kind of her arm is a lot more you know relaxed and down versus here is kind of like flared out here. They don't want that anymore. So. Um, that is all I believe for, um, this recap video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's kind of fail with the, um, the camera situation. I mean, maybe it's better for some of you don't like to see my face, but that's that. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, leave it in the uh, comment section. And I really, really appreciate you guys. If you guys share this video and like it and comment it. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.